One kind of archetypal hero, obviously, is someone who's physically strong There's a great movie that you could watch about this, it's called Hitman Hart It's one of the best documentaries I've ever seen, and it's about this guy named Bret Hart And Bret Hart was for a while the most famous Canadian on the planet And he was a worldwide wrestling foundation, I think, what did they call that, WWF? Yeah, he was their like, lead good guy And so he, and wrestling, I love the documentary because. When I was a little kid, like four or five, I used to watch his father, whose name was Stu Hart Who ran this channel, this wrestling confederation in Alberta And Stu Hart had, I think, eight boys And he trained all of them to be pro wrestlers And part of the movie is extraordinarily funny, because Stu Hart is in it And he's really old, he's like 85, and he's just barely Can you imagine? He was like a pro wrestler for 40 years Like every joint is broken And he's still big, but he's just barely moving and this, this, this kid and another kid come over and um, Stu is telling the story about how he used to take his boys into the basement and toughen them up And I think Brett called that the journey to pain or something like that His father would take all these kids down there and wrestle with them and push them right to the edge of their pain tolerance constantly And so, and anyways, they grew up tough, there's no doubt about that And uh, all his daughters married pro wrestlers too, and I think he had seven daughters So. He's quite the character. Anyways, these two kids, they're like they're late adolescence, early adulthood, come over, and one of them's pretty damn cocky. And he's listening to Stu, and he says something smart, like, well, you know, you were pretty you were pretty tough with the old days, hey? And Stu looks at him and says, Well, wh why don't you come down to the basement with me? And and he says, Well, look, I don't want to hurt you, old man. And so so the filmmakers follow them into the basement, eh? And and like they're they're kind of standing there and the old guy grabs him in a headlock and takes him like, he's like a snake, eh? He's got him in a headlock like, so fast that the kid doesn't know what to do And then, so Stu, like, who knows how to put a headlock on someone, he's like flexing his, his, uh, his, uh, his forearm, yeah Which is like still not so bad, a forearm And he's got this guy's face, it's just, he's just, he's like he's stepped in a bear trap Plus he's absolutely shocked that this old guy got him And so he's kind of gasping and Stu says something like, you watch, if I flex this muscle just right, you can see this vein on his forehead start to <laughs> pop out It's extraordinarily funny Anyways, Bret Hart um, plays out the good guy archetype and, and Bret's, like he's a solid guy, but he's, I would say he's not particularly sophisticated And I'm not, not being cruel about that, I mean he had a great career and he's tough as a boot and so good for him But he plays out this, um, this good guy archetype and he gets tangled up in it and, now, I don't remember your damn question, but I am trying to answer it Let, Tell me the question again So I was wondering how, in reality, you go from who's strongest and who's weakest to what's good and what is Oh yes, yes, okay, exactly Well, so, one of the things I really liked about this movie was it showed me why people watched wrestling And I couldn't, I couldn't, because certainly, they're not appealing, and I'm, I'm not being There are different strata of conception of abstraction that any entertainment Process has to appeal to and you know most people don't go to movies and that's actually because it really is because movies operate at a level of Sophistication that are too high, that is too high for many people just like novels I mean hardly anyone reads you know and if, if you about 15% of the population might be 20% Cannot read well enough to follow in written instructions and so and, and they and people who are Maybe it's 15% of the population, or 10% have never finished a book, never And so, and it is that high But, but you still, there's still, the archetype still needs to manifest itself at different levels And so it manifests itself in wrestling But even there, where it is physical force, it's not just physical force Like it's a drama between good and evil and you can see this so clearly in, in, in the Bret Hart documentary, because he's the good guy And, you know, the bad guys are really over-the-top bad, it's a real drama It's like, it's good versus evil in the ring every time And hopefully good wins, but good often gets, you know, maybe the bad wrestler brings two of his friends in And they bring in chairs, and they bash the hell out of the good guy And the whole audience is just outraged by this And, and the documentary does a lovely job of showing that but, so even at the level of physical combat, let's say, you can't reduce what's good to what's strong It's just one element of it Better to be strong than to be weak And so you can have a strong hero, because it's better to be strong than to be weak But it's better to be strong and kind than to be strong And it's better to be strong and kind and wise than to be strong and kind 
and so, and that's true not only for human beings, but it's even true, let's say, at the wolf or the chimpanzee level, because one of the things you see with the chimp dominance hierarchy is if, and I think I mentioned this before, is if the leader, the dominant male, is really good at fostering social relations and being reciprocal in acts like grooming and also paying attention to the females and their offspring his dynasty will be much more stable and so strong might be good for one battle it might be good for two battles but for 50 battles it's not optimized especially because no, long, no matter how strong you are someone can take you out so, so what happens is the idea of what's ideal becomes increasingly complex across time, multifaceted, right? And so, strength, wisdom, intelligence, vision, all these things are amalgamated into a single being 